It's a beautiful it's day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I'm gonna prop you out right here. Um, I probably should prop you out right here. Let me see. Let me get y'all together. There you go. So, I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm doing sundials decorations. I guess I'll let y'all see one. But these are her letter boxes. The smaller one at the top that's going to be on the table. And these are going to be on the side. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, y'all will see. But yeah, that was just what I did so far. I did those last night. <clears throat> and then I got sleepy. It's taking me so long to do those because I got the freaking wrong boxes. <sighs> So, the boxes that I got from Walmart are actual moving boxes. And I was supposed to get, like, in the moving boxes has, um, it has, um, words and stuff on the outside. So, there was no way I could cover that up unless I wrapped the whole box. And that's not what I wanted. So, I just cut the box down the side on the, you know, down the seam. And then I flipped it over, but y'all gonna see that. <clears throat> but what I'm getting ready to work on right now is the little Sesame Street street signs. I'll insert a picture here. So I'm getting ready to create that little street sign for Sundial. I pretty much picked up everything I need. So I guess I can do a little mini Dollar Tree haul of what I, I just got right now. Okay. So I got these pom-poms. They did not have blue. I don't really care if they don't got blue. But they got red, green, yellow. Um, I got the little painter sets because I'm about to get ready to paint the little street signs. I got this two pack of styrofoam, like base or whatever. Um, this don't have anything to do with the party, but well, I got some bungee cord things. Y'all, this was a dollar for all of these. Keep in mind that this was in Walmart for $2. I think a dollar eighty seven, dollar eighty eight, something like that. So two dollars, pretty much. Got it for a dollar. And these are gonna be the smaller little um, signs that goes on the table that I'm gonna have like by different foods, like um, like um, this food is Rotel, and they have Rotel on the street sign or whatever. So this is what this will be. And then I got the little balls to go on top. I kind of feel like this is a little too big for this. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. I got two packs of blue balloons. It's 15 in each um, pack. The 15 count of latex balloons. I'm going to make the blue balloon column. So the blue is going to be like Cookie Monster. And I got two packs of red. And um, 15 of each. Excuse me, y'all. And the red is going to be like um, Elmo. <clears throat> I got some school glue. Because I just found that when I lay my numbers and letters on my um, letter box blocks, I don't like the way the 
hot glue gun is on it. I think it'll lay down flatter and better with this. So that's why I got the just some school glue. I got the Jackson, don't come over here. And then I got the green acrylic paint. These were a dollar each. And that's going to be so I can paint my little street signs. And then I got white acrylic paint so that I can paint the letters that I got that goes on the big street sign that's going to be like by the door or whatever. Um, those I got those from Dollar Tree and they're white. I'll show y'all. I got these from Dollar Tree. See, they're red, but they need to be white. And I'm going to paint them or whatever. I think I'm going to paint them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint them white. I was going to trace them out and all that and all that, but I decided not to. So, that is what I got from Dollar Tree, y'all. showing y'all that they're dry. Oops. Stuck to the paper. Yeah. So that's what they're looking like. And I'm just going to put the bows on top. Torn still. Had to set up the printer so I can print out my street signs. But y'all get the gist of how it's going to be. So hold on y'all. Let me just prop y'all up. I didn't go back to Walmart. Oh, you recording? No. I didn't go back to Walmart to get the little stick I bought for two dollars. I'm just gonna chunk up, chunk that up as a loss. But I probably should never get it anyway. But I'm gonna use this. It came out of the wrapping paper. It's just a little stick that come out of the wrapping paper. And I'm gonna paint this green. And I'm gonna hot glue gun it to here. That's the base for my bigger street sign that's gonna stay by the door. So, I'm gonna go ahead before. You see my S refills No, sir. And then I got these balls that I'm about to get ready to glue on here. And I got my glue stick. And I just put a dot of glue right on top a generous amount like so and I just put the ball right on top can y'all see that and this is going to be for the street side 
I'm just gonna let that stay like that. And let that dry. Now I'm gonna do this other one. Put a drop of glue. I put a generous amount. You know, son, they always giving out more than she's wanting to give. Shoot. Okay. Anyways. And put this right on top. Yep. Just like so. And then I'm going to set these to the side. So this is how it's looking. It's looking really good, y'all. And those are just going to be the smaller, the smaller street signs. And so now I'm going to get ready to do this one. Now I'm trying to debate if I should actually do this to the inside or if I should just leave it like this because... Trying to see decisions, decisions, y'all. This is the bigger one, and I'm thinking about doing one more. I don't want to go street sign crazy, but <laughs> I'm thinking about having one by the door and then one on the inside. But we'll see. <laughs> 